All right, guys, so today we're gonna do a video. We're gonna do, um, we're just gonna talk about some ways you can get more bites while fishing braid fishing. Um, all right, guys, how's it going? It's the East Banglers. We're out here. We're gonna talk a little bit about braid and line, um, also known as just braid. Uh, all right, guys. How's it going? It's the East Bay Anglers. We're out here today. We're doing some fishing, but I wanted to talk about my thoughts on braided line. I wanted to tell you guys some tips. Tips that are going to end up helping you catch more fish, get more bites, and end up landing more fish. So let's talk about it real quick. You know, right now, I'm uh, rigged up with 30 pound braid. I like to use Power Pro. That's my favorite brand. There's a lot of brands out there. They're all pretty decent. You know, I like Power Pro. Um, they're reliable. They've been on the market a while. There's a lot of reviews. There's a lot of testing on the on it, and um, you know, because it's been out for a while, and it's just a good all-around braided line. Now you can use braided line in freshwater or saltwater applications. What I'm about to tell you though is going to help you land more fish, get more bites in general. First thing I want to talk about, get a black sharpie. Get a black sharpie and if you're not getting bit on your braided line for whatever reason, I, I honestly like to start out doing it just right away. And some people like to fish it the way it is and then they will can't get bit there's a few people that you know do what I'm about to tell you and let's just take a sharpie and eight to ten feet of line go ahead and sharpie it black and for some reason that black color just seems to be a lot better it seems to get bit more now I'm not running a leader to my bait right now it's just straight braid to the lure so when you're running straight braid to the lure I mean you know this is what I'm talking about when you're when you've got a fluorocarbon leader you know, or something like that you don't really need to worry about this this does not apply but when you're running straight braid to a lure um, or a bait uh, you know it's important go ahead take that black sharpie mark it black I guarantee you it's gonna make the difference it's gonna get you bites that you wouldn't have got and you're gonna be surprised Next thing I want to talk about when it comes to braided line um, is just a tip. It's not really going to get you more bites, but it might, you know, end up in just a more productive day. I think one of the reasons a lot of people struggle fishing braided line, specifically when they're using bait casters, is they just put too much into it. Um, if you're casting, you know, monofilament, fluorocarbon, some other kind of line, and you're using a bait caster, you mean you put a certain amount of, you know, put a certain, you put a certain amount of, um, you know, effort or whatever you want to call it into the cast. And it just seems like when I'm fishing braid, I almost effort effortlessly. Um, you know, I mean, there's there's a little bit of, um, you know, it's more about the motion, it's more about, you know, your tension. But it just seems like you don't have to cast very far. cast the more uh, problems you end up running into so for those of you having trouble fishing braided line you know or maybe you don't like braided line on bait casters or something like this that's going to help you a lot just try that out um, try casting a lot you know more just effortlessly and uh, you know just barely give it anything and just uh, start out there you can be some how far that bait will go. You know, I, so I guess that's about it right now. Um, you know, we already know you can add a leader to the braid, you know, like a fluorocarbon leader, 8 to 10 feet leader. And that's going to also, you know, provide a lot of stealth. You know, it's virtually invisible underwater. So sometimes in clear water situations you don't want to go straight braid you 
want to have that leader. So, I mean, ultimately, that can help you land a lot more fish in clear water situations by using a leader. I mean, think the two most popular knots for that, if you want to look them up on YouTube or online, is going to be the blood knot and it's going to be the uni knot. So you guys check those out. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, hopefully with helpful information that gives you guys an idea of some of the extra things you can do to get more bites or to give a better presentation or just, uh, you know, put less effort um, overall into your fishing trip.